When I look at your work, it seems to me you're somebody who really knows how to do theory, but at the same time knows how to apply it to real problems. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure, sure. Part of what I think is fun about economics is exactly that if you take your theory seriously, you can look at a lot of interesting applied problems with it. That is, if you don't think of doing theory as refining some theoretical result which is out there, but we think are new about problems, and then thinking, of how can I build a theory to explain that problem? And so that interaction, where you use the theory you know to attack problems, you look at problems to bring a new theory, I think is extremely fruitful. It has been, for me, a, the biggest pleasure in my career. Is that's what I like to do. I can give you an example. As you know, I've been interested in, in financial market bubbles for a while. So yesterday, my first year, day here at BFI, I gave a talk at the math department. Some of the mathematical problems I've been working on uh, to uh, understand better how financial bubbles occur. So that interplay between a very practical problem and a very theoretical side is what I think I learned at Chicago, because at Chicago there were a lot of people doing things like this, doing this kind of approach, you know, thinking of applied problems but in using very good either theory or very good empirical methods, very sophisticated empirical methods to solve these problems. And at the same time, they were progressing the frontier of theory and empirical methods to solve particular applied problems. I think people like Bob Lucas very much like that, Jim Heckman very much like that, some of your own work is very much like that. So this is the kind of thing that you learn at Chicago. Uh, two things I want to pick up on that, and one is I want to link together two of the things you just talked about. Uh, you mentioned going to lunch and hearing, you know, Milton or Gary or somebody talk about a problem they were interested in. To what extent did kind of the fertilization by talking to people like that affect what you did? I think a lot. I think because you, what you hear from those, from in conversations like that, were actual problems that people are trying to understand. So I think, for instance, uh, the work I, I've done with my former student Ed Glazer on cities or on social interactions, you can see Gary behind that story. You can see the conversation we have had with Gary or things that I heard from Gary Becker. And Bob Lucas was also very interested in cities and how externalities operate and so on. So you can, list, you can almost see that these conversations occurred when you read those papers. That's one side of it as well. But another side I want to pick up in addition to that, because I think that's important, is the idea that there isn't this big division between, call, let's call it applied theory, that is theory sure. that can be applied in, in highbrow theory in maybe high on the theory. other side. And yeah. There's a tendency for people to say, well, this stuff is useful and this stuff isn't useful. Right. And I think that's not correct. And I just wanted if you could yeah. talk a little bit. Maybe. Evidently, all those people had this idea that the theory in economics serve a purpose. And the purpose was to understand the economy, understand economic phenomena, or sometimes even more broadly social phenomena in general. So this was an attitude in all, not only in the conversations, but also in the work those people did. So I think, I think the senior people were here. They taught me a lot in those conversations. They taught me a lot when I went to their offices and showed work and discussed with them. And, um, but also, they taught me a lot just by reading their work. You know, we had workshops and people would present their work and so on. And you can see this very Chicago attitude that theory had, had a purpose of explaining actual economic problems. It was not just done to refine uh, you know, what somebody else did with like weaker assumptions. That's really what I learned all through my career here. And Chicago has lots, had a lot of those people at the time and still has them. People like Lars or Jim or you, you know, they all engage in this type of, or even people that came here after I left, like Myerson and so on. So there's a lot of people thinking of theory or theoretical problems and trying to use them to solve you know, actual economic problems, but at the same time, pushing the frontier of theory or pushing the frontier of, of empirical methods. So we shouldn't always think of theory that maybe at the moment seems kind of hard or abstract or very rigorous as 
orthogonal or unrelated to applied work. No, it's work. not. It's not unrelated to applied work. And of course, when you're doing very applied work, you're not thinking about the theory in this abstract fashion. But I, I tend to think that my, the way I look at applied work always used a lot of what I knew about theory. Mm -hmm.